You guys want to know how to do sequential lights? I want to tell you all about ghost lighting modules, and it's How Tuesday, so let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome to another video, and if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about the parts, the skills, and the business of building custom lights, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the notification icon so that you don't miss any of these videos that are coming up. All right, so we're gonna talk about three different topics today. The first of those is gonna be the ghost lighting module, what it is, what it does, and why we care so much about it and think it's so awesome. Two is gonna be how we wire everything up to that circuit board so that it can be very easy to access when we're doing all of our wiring. If we wanna plug something in, unplug it, we're doing a bunch of stuff like that, we want it to be simple. So we're gonna show you how we do that. And then three is gonna be the most important part is potting. Potting a circuit board sounds super boring because it is. It takes a long time and uses weird stuff. We wanted to show you how we make them. So let's jump in and check it out. Boom, what is ghost? What is sequential lighting? That's sequential lighting. It's all these crazy individual little LEDs hooked up to a brain that we've programmed with the computer. So we can write our own little code, upload it to these things, change the file a little bit, update it again, and just constantly evolve and get better and better. And this is what that little brain looks like, that module. This is the ghost sequence module. And if you look at it, you can see it's got a ton of individual little holes on it that we can solder on wire connections to, which will all lead to those LEDs on the actual lights. Module wiring is going to save so much time when it comes to actually hooking these things up, whether that means connecting them or disconnecting them, making little changes, whatever it might entail. All that we're doing right here is soldering on a couple different little connectors that have 28 wire connections to them, right? So you can see right here, Jack's wiring a couple different things on. That's the 28 pin header. You also saw a little six pin connection, which is what we use to connect it to the computer. So all of these little connections are being made now so that instead of having individual wires, we can just have that one little connector piece. And then in the future, we can plug into it super, super easy. The next step is going to actually be running the individual wires through. So you've got a couple different setups. You've got a power and ground wire that are gonna go in first here, and they have a little bit thicker gauge wire. So you're gonna be able to carry a little bit more power through them, all that. The next ones are just input wires, and that's gonna come on after Jack finishes that. Those are all input wires there. So those are what's actually gonna control things like the turn signals. You can see the yellow wire we always use for a turn signal. And then in fast motion, I'm just gonna talk really quick, and he's gonna hook up the show mode and show two and all the other little things break and now you see it. it's got all of the wires connected on there it's ready to be potted all right the moment you've been waiting for module potting yay this is super kind of i don't know it's pretty boring so i'm just gonna add this in there we're gonna mix up half parts clear to one part black we're gonna make this weird little mixture stir it up let it set up and then we're gonna pour it into a silicone mold place the circuit board on top of it and then pour the rest of the contents in there so that we get this perfect black little beautiful encasing around our circuit board. It does a couple things. It makes it easy to work with the part so that we're not worried about anything getting wet and shorting out, the static discharge from our fingers so that we don't have to have ground straps on our arms while we're doing this weird crazy wiring stuff. And it just makes things super simple so that we're not always worried about a million little wires touching things that shouldn't be while we're testing out and maybe reprogramming with the computer. It's just a dope process to use. So I don't want to talk all the way through this. I'll throw some music in the background. Enjoy, watch as we pot these things, and we're gonna wrap up this video with some cool examples of what these ghost modules can do. Later. 